So, I love Disney. I mean, let's face it, for all the bullshit and the crazy monopolization that the company has been doing in these recent years, let's face it, at the end of the day, people love these movies and they have grown up with them. But sometimes, it's kind of nice to have something a little bit different. And so today, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 non-Disney animated films. This list will not include Pixar, as as much as they are a slightly different company, they are in a way a part of Disney. Make sure to put your top films in the comment section below, and remember, these are my personal favourites, so it's okay if you don't agree with them. A lot of films on this list do have their own personal review on my channel, and some of them will hopefully be in a future video as well. Hi there, it's me, The Average Critic, and let's get going, starting at number 10 with Over the Hedge. A really underrated movie, Over the Hedge came out in 2006, and it has a massive cast. With the likes of Bruce Willis, Steve Carell, William Shatner, and Alison Janney, the list goes on. Over the the Hedge makes every character stand out, and a lot of that is down to the performances. Every character has those little details that make their characters feel fun and interesting. Its animation has got a little bad over time, but it's still okay, at least for now. DreamWorks films comedy can be very hit or miss in my opinion, but Over the Hedge delivers such a fun cast of characters that really make you laugh. I want my cookie! Number 9, Ice Age. Ice Age is a film that I loved as a kid, and I love it even more now. Blue Sky Studios has sadly been shut down, and I find that really sad, as even though they didn't do many films, the ones we got were definitely something special, and Ice Age, it's definitely the best of the bunch. Sure, its sequels weren't the greatest, but the first delivers a fun movie with not only some genuine laugh out loud moments, but some of the darkest and serious moments in an animated film. Who would have thought a film with this type of cast of characters would deliver something so dark and powerful. Ice Age may be set in the cold, but it definitely warms my heart. Whoa! Woo! Yeah! Who's up for round two? Number 8, Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Probably the most recent film on this list, Puss in Boots The Last Wish was the surprise movie of 2022. Not only does it improve for the last movie massively, but it takes everything up a notch to a fantastic level. The animation in those action sequences are incredible, the performances are amazing, and that villain is haunting. I am a huge Puss in Boots fan ever since his first appearance in Shrek 2, and I always look forward to seeing him. I can't wait to see what they do with his character in other films. <laughs> I like the cut of his jib. Number 7, The Lego Movie. The Lego Movie once again surprised me. A film about one of the most popular toy products sounds like a barrel of laughs. And for the most part, it's simple humour that feels very basic, still makes you laugh in a lot of parts. You shouldn't really think much about a film that's about Lego, but then it delivers a beautiful message about being special and about how much Lego has inspired us over the years. So not only is there themes in the story within the characters, but it makes the audience think about their own experiences with this Lego product. It makes me proud to still enjoy Lego today. Thanks, Lego Movie. You've proven just how awesome you are. Everything is awesome. Oh, no. Number six, Your Name. Your Name is not only an amazing anime film, but an incredible film in general. It not only gives us some brilliantly funny and clever moments with its body switching plot, but then it gives us an amazing twist about some very mature themes. Your Name was one of the first anime films I watched, and what a place to start. Its cinematography is stunning. If this film ever came back to theatres, I would love to watch it, as it is an awe-inspiring movie that everyone should watch. Number 5, Rango. So I have a review of Rango on my channel, and it is one of my highest viewed videos. And when making this list, I realized how much I love this movie. I talk a lot about in my review how this film is made by Nickelodeon, it has a very dry sense of humor, and it is a huge nod to Western cinema. And it shouldn't be this good and successful, and yet, it somehow delivers one of the most greatest Western films ever. I don't even think the people who created this movie realized how good it was going to be. They could have made an easy, simple Western movie with animals, and yet it gives us a beautifully shot movie with themes of identity. It's funny, it has incredible action sequences, and who would have thought a Western movie could be so thought-provoking? I tip my hat to one legend to another. Number 4, Chicken Run. So Ardman Animation has a special place in my heart due to the fact that, you know, it's from the same country as me. But Chicken Run is a wonderfully gifted film. Basically, it's just one huge parody of The Great Escape, but with more laughs, stunning animation, and amazing music. I can tell you right now, I never skip this soundtrack on my Spotify list. I love 
war movies, but a war movie about chickens, throw in some British humour, a gorgeous story and an amazing cast, and you have a brilliant British film. Now let that be a lesson to the lot of you! No chicken escapes from Tweedy's farm! Number 3. Ponyo. So I've talked a lot about Studio Ghibli these past few months, and it was hard pinpointing my favourite Studio Ghibli picture. But Ponyo takes the third spot because every time I watch it, it just gets progressively better. Ponyo is just a sweet and adorable film that makes you feel like a kid again. The performances are amazing, with Liam Neeson just making me laugh out loud with his performance. It has amazing themes about the environment, friendship and family, and a finale song that you can't help but feel good. Ponyo makes you forget about all your troubles and gets you lost in this wonderful imaginative world that you can't help but smile at. This is the purest ocean water, and it keeps me from drying out on land. Whatever. Number two, The Road to El Dorado. Probably the most underrated of all the DreamWorks films, The Road to El Dorado is a blast from start to finish. This film didn't receive well when coming out, and it didn't do well at the box office either, and I can't think why. The performances from Kenneth Bragner and Kevin Kline are genuinely so freaking funny, and the music from Elton John and Tim Rice is incredible. I quote this film probably on a daily basis, and it has some of the best one-liners ever. This film doesn't stop making you laugh for a second, but also, especially for the time, it is one of the few animated films that doesn't really have a love story. Sure, there's a connection between Tulio and Shell, but it's very subplot. At the center of this movie is a relationship between Miguel and Tulio, two friends that I absolutely love watching. I love this film and it just makes me laugh and it has some incredible songs. Everyone should watch this film. It is so funny. <laughs> Congratulations. No, very congrats, good. Steve. No, that was good. Very yeah. good. Before we do have a look at the number one spot, we do have some very good honorable mentions. Howl's Moving Castle, an anime classic with some very dark tones. Kung Fu Panda. Who would have thought Kung Fu could be so thought-provoking? Land Before Time. Who would have thought a kid's film could be about racism? And taking my number one spot, we have How to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon is probably my favourite DreamWorks movie ever. It has a very wonderful cast of characters that are just fun. But what makes this film stand out is the relationship between Toothless and Hiccup. Despite Toothless not being able to say a word, there is so much expression in his character. We have seen a lot of dragons in media, but never before have they been so cute. It has a wonderful message about how we treat our animals. It teaches us not to judge our animals by their appearance. The soundtrack is also incredible, with Test Drive being of course an absolute standout. Hearing this song always gives me goosebumps every time. It isn't just a great animated movie, but a great movie in general. This film holds up against Disney, and its sequels do the same giving us probably one of the best trilogies of all time. Come on! So thank you so much for joining me in this little video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to watch one of my other videos and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more great content on all things animation and make sure to pop some of your favorite non-Disney films in the comment section below. Also, I do just quickly want to mention I recently hit 1,000 subscribers on my channel. So my 1,000 subscriber special is on the way. It's just taking some time. So rest assured, it will be coming soon, guys. But thank you so much for watching me, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.